So we got Narragansett Town Beach behind us, and it appears as though there's a water yoga class going on. Something's going Something's on there. Something's going on. A lot of folks in the water. Not a bad place to be today down at the beach. Expected uh, temperatures in the 90s, some parts of the state. So the beaches will be crowded as uh, people look for a way to cool off, of course. Yeah, summer in Rhode Island. But the DEM says we should just be extra careful in the water right now because of some unwelcome <laughs> visitors. Jake Holter has the assignment of the morning. He is live along the beach in Narragansett. We can hear those waves behind you. And Jake, tell us about these recent sightings of Portuguese men of war. Yeah, Kate, definitely not a bad day at work, but it could be a bad day at the beach if you find yourself running across a Portuguese man of war. These jellyfish like creatures have a gnarly sting and have been found lurking in the water at multiple beaches across the state. More than a dozen have been spotted at Scarborough North, Roger Wheeler, as well as East Matunic State Beach over the last few days. And Patrick actually snapped some photos after he spotted man of war on the other side of the state off the shore of Middletown and Little Con. And these creatures have been carried up to Rhode Island waters from warm southern waters by the Gulf Stream. Mike Healy with the DEM says they're roughly the size of a Nerf football, but their tentacles can be 25 feet long. Somebody will feel it before they see it, and, it's, and you're feeling it because you've been stung, and nobody wants to be stung by a man of war. It is really painful, painful. to use my best Rhode Island, wicked painful. And the DEM says these creatures can be found floating on the surface of the water or along the shoreline. They're asking people to report one if they see them and if you are stung to treat it with salt water or vinegar. Live in Narragansett, Jake Coulter, 12 News.